So what is up everyone this is Kiran here welcome back to Tech Kiran YouTube channel talking about the Aero OS which is based on Android version 11 I've installed the latest build on my Redmi Note 9 Pro Cortana device it's available for mutual devices like Redmi Note 9 s Redmi Note 9 Pro Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and Poco M2 Pro if you have any of these devices you can install this build right now on your device it's based on aosp as always and yes it's actually quite good it is super fast it's super smooth no lags at all good battery backup some limited kind of customizations it's kind of a really great kind of custom room for this device you should definitely give it a try if you're looking to install a custom room as you can see there is a very interesting kind of smoothness there no lags nothing else even after using 120 hertz on my poco x3 i normally don't use 60 hertz on my other devices but in this room I still didn't got any kind of lags. It's smooth. It's actually quite smooth. So this room is actually good. Talking about things which you get here, for example, as you can see, there's no customization hub available there. So talking about the default settings, first of all, we have the default home launcher as maybe a quick step launcher with bit of customizations. It doesn't include the pixel launcher as this room. I don't think so it comes with the Google Apps pre-installed. I'm not sure, but maybe yes, it has both of the builds available. Sorry for that. It has both of the builds available, but yes, it doesn't include the Pixel Launcher still, but has some little bit of extra customizations, add icons to home screen, as you already saw about the icon pack and some little bit of extra options. Swipe down to clear all recents and etc. And the UI is actually good. Good to see actually and talking about the default wallpapers and else you have the normal same kind of Aero OS wallpaper which you get in almost every kind of custom room, every kind of device when you use Aero OS on that device you will still see this same wallpaper there. Talking about the styles, yes we have the custom style applied by default you get the green color but I've applied the same icon pack and including that I also have applied the pixel blue ASIN color there which is actually working just perfectly fine. This is why I have enabled this on my device and including that if you go for the grid size it has extra grid size options available 2x2 two two, up to 6x6 six six, which is actually good 2x2, 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, 5x6, 5x7 and 6x6. Six all of these grid sizes are available there and the clock is also quite interesting for example we have the ide clock click on apply and it's done actually simply just check it out this is how this clock is looking like it's looking quite good and interesting one it has all the basic features which you were looking in a custom room are present there so you must definitely give it a try this room is good for daily use in my opinion with great battery backup Looking for the camera related things, it comes with the MIUI 12 camera which is actually good. But the thing is, portrait mode is not working. This was not listed there but yes the portrait mode, it's, portrait mode is not working in my case. It also includes some interesting features there. But if you enable the portrait mode, you'll not be able to use the camera then. Just simply force stop the camera or clear the camera from recents. Then relaunch the app and you'll be able to use this. Else everything seems to be working here. For example, the video related things, 60 FPS, 30 FPS, 1080p, everything seems to be working. But the portrait mode is not working. And I tried that a lot of times. Portrait mode was not able to work. So if you want to use the portrait mode on your device, as you can see, it has a can't connect to camera. If you want to use the portrait mode on your device you have the option to use the google camera as always there are many options available for you geekbench score yes 550 is a single core score and 1614 is the multi-core score which is actually quite good uh, after using redmi note 8 for approximately more than a year now i think this redmi note 9 pro cortana device geekbench score is far more better than that even i don't believe in scores but still it's quite good the safety status yes it's passing as you already saw that let me just try it once again just a second it will take some time here and after that you will see the safety status is passing for me i will be able to use the banking apps on my device i am using the banking apps on my device as you can see it's success there to pass the safety status you might need to use the magisk hide option in the settings but everything else is same here you don't need any extra things for that if the magisk hide is working for you it's good if it is only if it is not passing for you but everything else is fine here talking about the battery backup related things and also battery section where you have the option to customize the battery icons battery charging light smart charging thermal related things and also talking about the battery usage as you can see i didn't charge my device much but getting more than two hours of screen on time which is good 
some bit of customizations include in the sub menus like traffic indicators and other options display related things almost everything is good and quite interesting you should definitely install this build on your device and also as you can see it has a face lock and app lock both of the options are available including the fingerprint of course all these things are good the basic features are there smoothness is good no lags everything is good you should definitely give it a try the room link is in the description this is all for today's video i hope you like this thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day Like I'm floating through the air